Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to make are pizza bites. Basically an hors d'oeuvre that I like to make uh, for parties and whatever. I actually get 18 of them. Um, they come out these cute little square little type hors d'oeuvre pizzas. Uh, you can cut them in half uh, and that way, you know, they'll go a lot further, uh, that type of thing. But they're just the right amount of um, an hors d'oeuvre, maybe with a person having a drink or having other things that uh, you might have out on uh, at your party. Uh, so let's get started. Now, I'm the uh, dough that I'm using, of course, is made of yeast. You can make it by hand, or you can use your dough maker, your or uh, bread machine, as I do. I just find very exact uh, results from using the bread maker. But um, you can go ahead and make this bread by hand, the dough. I'm sorry, by hand if you prefer. I'm going to give you the recipe right off the bat because it will not be listed below the video. Uh, I don't do that anymore for my videos due to so many people uh, taking my work, claiming it's theirs, putting it on other sites and whatever, and it's just not worth uh, the time anymore to do so. So I'll go slowly and hopefully uh, if you're interested in copying down the recipe, you'll be able to get it uh, at this time. Uh, now, follow the directions to your bread makers, of course, on what liquid and when the, the dry mixtures uh, come in because all the bread makers, uh, well, they're a little bit different. Uh, so you will need one and a quarter cups of water. Uh, and you do want to have your water about 110 temperature. Uh, you will need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So uh, that's readily usually in everybody's kitchen. One teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Now if you're making this dough by hand and not with the bread maker, you might need a little bit more olive oil than that. You know, it might be even up to a half a cup. But if you're using the bread maker, use a quarter of a cup. It'll, it'll work out fantastic. You need at least two teaspoons of active dry yeast. And that's to make, uh, to make the dough. So I'm going to take it out of my uh, bread maker here. Just put a little flour on my countertop. Now, this is only half. You're going to get two, of course. Uh, of these doughs, but this this is half. So in other words, this actually makes the eight little mini hors d'oeuvre uh, 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 pizzas, okay? So just, you know, spread it out on your board a little bit, and um, I'm just going to flatten it with my hands. Now, what if you really want to be super... Um, you know, exact on these, okay, I would suggest to use, as I do, a scale. And I make mine about 1.6 each to make these little, uh, these little um, pizzas, okay. So I'll just give you an idea. I, I cut away one. Let's check it. And um, that's about 1.3. You don't have to be this exact, okay? And that's 1.6. So this is about how much of dough you're going to use, okay? And what you'll want to do is oil your or you know your pan very well. You know, I just take my little pastry brush and and really get in there and the sides because you don't want it to stick and you want it to come out easily. And then, let's see, I hope you can see this. Let me move these little pieces over here. And then just put it into your pan. And then with your fingertips and your fingers, just press it down. Bring it up to the sides like that. It doesn't have to be exact. Let's do another one. 1.6 exactly. 
so you can get an idea how big the dough but just make sure that you have at least nine pieces when you cut it when you cut the raw dough and like I said just press it in there I'm not going to do all of them because I don't want to bore you uh, with it but we'll do one more and then just bring it up on the sides about halfway of your pan now I know I'm going to probably get this question well what if I just want to use the dough and I don't want to use you know the this pan uh, twice well if you don't and you just want to make a conventional pizza this is a 15 inch pan it'll it'll render a nice pizza dough for a 15 inch round in case you don't want to do this recipe for the uh, party hors d'oeuvres okay but you can kind of get an idea the next thing is you're going to need at least eight ounces of pizza sauce whether you want to make your sauce or get it out of a jar um, I have lots of recipes on my channel for cook sauce easy made sauce and then I put about a teaspoon of sauce uh, down into this these little wells now if you want to put more you can certainly do that or you can put a little bit less you might think that uh, a teaspoon's a little too much it's really up to you whatever ingredients that you put in well you know the list is endless because you can you know cheese and pepperoni and and um uh, Italian sausage you know pineapple whatever however you want to make them and then just put a little bit of uh, cheese in there you don't want too much but it's probably about a tablespoon okay you can mix your cheeses I have pepper jack and mozzarella combined that I ground because I like the the you know to have a multi taste in uh, cheeses and then I just put a couple pepperoni on top and again if you want to put your pineapple or your anchovies or maybe some mushrooms on the top it's it's really up to you again you're going to get uh, I get two trays of these so I get 18 of these okay and I want to um, oh and then I almost forgot what you can also do is just sprinkle a little of your uh, parmesan um, you know on the top or you can mix it in your sauce if you don't want to do that but this is a really fun little recipe and I, I make this for when I have parties uh, or cocktail parties and it, it really goes over quite well people really do like these uh, so let me rinse my hands real quick. Now you are going to put this uh, in an oven around 400 degrees. Uh, you could even try for 425 or so. And they're going to bake up relatively pretty quick. Probably within your 8 to 12 minutes. Depending on your oven. Because as we know our ovens all set up so differently. But you don't want them to burn either. I would suggest to... Um, use a butter knife to kind of um, you know edge edge it out after it cools down just a little bit so that you can get them out of the tray so that they don't stick and you want to be able to serve them when they're still warm or hot so let me rinse my hands and then I'd like to show you what they look like once uh, they're baked up in that little pan and this is how they turn out they really make a really nice little presentation it's a nice little thick crust little pizza individual and as I told you you can cut them in half I hope that you can um, see that how cute they are and um, let's just cut into one okay and again, this makes a nice little size, uh, just right this, if you want to get two out of each one. And then you'll be able to see that it's such a nice uh, dough. I mean, I'm just going to kind of squeeze on it a little bit to show you. You can see the sauce and the pepperoni and how delicate. It's not a real heavy or a real dense pizza dough. It's quite light. And yet the sides 
are very crispy, which everybody loves to always get the, the end of the pizza uh, uh, all the time, at least at my house. So you're going to have all those nice corners of that crispy, crispy uh, crust. And you'll be able to cut them in half and, you know, like I said, get a lot more out of the recipe if you're, you know, expecting more guests, that type of thing. Well, there you have it. You've got 18 little individuals pizza, thick crust pizza, great tasting dough, very light uh, for your next party. Um, I really appreciate you watching Diane Love to Bake. As a reminder, please watch my videos solely on YouTube. Uh, it's so frustrating when people write to me or comment, and I find my videos in other locations, and I can't answer you. So please watch me on YouTube uh, solely. That's where you're going to find my, my videos. Um, and... Um, I want to thank you for watching. If you're so inclined, please subscribe to the channel. If you try this recipe and you liked it, well, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. So, um, and I, I think that's about it for me tonight. Again, thanks for watching. Diane Love to Bake. And by the way, if you're looking for more pizza recipes, I have 12 on my channel. Thanks again. Till next time. See you soon.